saying so a lot. I need to stop saying so, so much. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Media Monday. Ron Fartley of Fartley Farms here with you. And as always on Mondays, we're going through a medium sauce from a small batch hot sauce maker. This week, no different. Barnacle Foods is the maker and we are featuring their bull hot sauce. That's right. Bull hot. Would you stop bleeping it out? Like it's, it's bull bull whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without cool whip. Cool whip? Cool whip, yeah. You mean cool whip. Right there. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. So, no more beeps. Uh, bull Whip Hot Sauce is named as such because of Bull Kelp, uh, which is also known as Bull Whip Kelp. So this is the type of kelp that is along the Pacific Northwest. And so Bull Kelp is actually uh, what Barnacle Foods calls a zero input ingredient. That means they don't have to do anything. They just pretty much go scoop up the bull kelp. And that is the primary feature in this hot sauce. So really unique just right off the bat in terms of the ingredient list. We're going to give it a try and see how it goes. I've not really had kelp in the past. I have seaweed from time to time, uh, but kelp itself, haven't really had it before. Barnacle Foods actually makes uh, pickled kelp rings. So you think of pickles, right? It slices a cucumber, but they're taking this bull kelp and they're actually turning it into these little pickle slices. So almost like a pickled jalapeno, except it is uh, just the kelp that's in there. So pouring this out, it's pretty creamy. Um, get some nice yellow, a little bit of red hue in there as well. Uh, that is largely from the Piri Piri pepper. So right on the front, they say Piri Piri and kelp. Piri Piri is actually a South African pepper. So a lot of strange things mixed together here. You have Alaskan kelp. Nobody else is using that. You have Piri Piri peppers. Not really anybody else is using that except for Nando's. Nan Nando's? I don't know. So you have a pepper that's uncommon. You have a main ingredient that's uncommon. And you have a very creamy, thick sauce. We'll see how it tastes. It is a very creamy sauce. I'm trying to place um, all the different flavors here. There's tomato paste in there. Definitely get a lot of that flavor. Um, or not tomato paste, but organic tomatoes are used. So get some of that. Uh, it's almost like a salsa to a degree or like a Diablo sauce. The Peri Peri is last on the list, right before the xanthan gum. So you start to get a bit of a taste of that and a bit of that heat. And when you read through the ingredients, you have Alaskan bowl kelp, water, organic vinegar, organic tomato, vegetable oil, garlic, salt, piri piri, and xanthan gum. So there's even more garlic in here than there are peppers. But some of that heat does creep through through everything else. The kelp flavor could be what I'm tasting, but I don't actually really know what's going on there. Barnacle Foods was started in 2016 by Leah Heifetz and Matt Kern. And so both... Alaska natives, but they're using all of these ingredients that they're locally sourcing. So whether that's foraging, getting into the water, getting the kelp, uh, <laughs> the kelp, getting the kelp out of there and just using those ingredients, uh, making sure that they're having as low impact to the environment as possible. Overall, it's a great company Barnacle Foods. Again, check them out. You can find this sauce on their website for $5.95 or you can get it on Fuego Box for $7.95. They do have a bourbon barrel aged version of this sauce. Currently sold out, goes for about $8.95 when they do have it in stock, but that's from a distiller in Alaska. So they're doing everything that they can to keep everything within Alaska. Again, no idea how they got the Piri Piri peppers up there, whether those are locally grown in Alaska or if they have somebody that's shipping them to them. Very curious. So Barnacle Foods, if you're watching this this far, please let us know. Very, very interested at this point. So that'll do it for Medium Monday. Thanks for tuning in. I've been your host, Ron Fartley. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Check out our website, fartleyfarms.com, if you're interested in our sauces. Otherwise, that'll do it for this time around. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for Too Hot Tuesday, coming in hot tomorrow with the Demon Reaper.